Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia and today's special guest is Baby Yoda. So say hey to Baby Yoda. Uh, we have empties to go through. It's a lot. So we're just going to go ahead and just get right into this. The bin is full. So let's just get started and start grabbing. So first one we have is Candy Crave. I have taken this out of my club. I regret doing so, but mm, it's just a beautiful kind of um, fruity scent. Love this one. I uh, have used it in body care. It is great. I'm just trying to whittle the club down, y'all. Um, next, we have Summer Moonlight, which is from the brand new bars that mm, is coming out Um uh, in a couple of days so it's one of my favorites next is plum and white woods i always say this one gives me lavender vibes even though there's no lavender in it really really good one vanilla oud you guys know how i feel about this one um i have two of these in my scentsy club that is how much i love it perfumey vanilla scent Next is Pink Rhubarb Sugar. I finished this one up last night. I had it going in the family room, which is uh, where we usually sit at. It is a great uh, perf kind of perfumey floral scent, but you really can smell the sugar note in this. So I really did enjoy it. Um, you're going to see a lot from um, the new scents that are coming out because you guys know i just did a video on those i will put it at the end of this one just in case you missed it um next is salted caramel cupcake this is a bring back my bar it smells just like what it is i'm just not a huge caramel fan but it really is good enough to keep if i liked caramel like that but i don't um next is sunburst bamboo okay sunburst bamboo i have been dying to talk to you guys about sunburst bamboo um this is the scent this is february scent of the month and you guys know i came into this just like okay it's gonna be watery it's gonna smell like cucumbers and probably spa like just really weak and you know, I really came into the whole scent of the month thing like, ugh, you know, we can't like them all, you know, and anybody that tells you they do, come on now. But when I say this one shocked me, it shocked me. I could smell this the next day. Like this blew me away. It was by no means loud or anything, but I could smell it. And just the fact that I could smell it going in thinking, oh, this is gonna be so weak and tired. Oh my goodness, you know, I, I'm really, really shocked. I enjoyed this and I was not planning on enjoying this. I was not thinking about enjoying this and I am shocked, shocked, so. Um, let me know once you try this, what your thoughts are, because I'm shocked, like almost speechless, like, wow. Um, it's just really nice. It's just like a nice green scent, but I really enjoyed it. I'm like really, really shocked. I'm doing samples of this today. And sometimes if you have a scent that you don't like, and I use two warmers when I'm making my samples because I'm trying to like get through it as fast as possible because consultants, you know what it is. It's a lot to uh, what you have to do to get these samples out. So it's like a whole total thing, like a production. So I'm trying to like do it as fast as possible. So I have two warmers going, which means you've got a lot of scent you know, being thrown. And if it's a scent you're not crazy about, you're just like, oh. You know, can we please like speed this along? But I'm not gonna feel this that way about this one because I enjoyed it. It's almost the color of of baby Yoda. Look at that. I'm trying to show y'all and yeah, wow. That was just totally uncalled for, but whatever. 
uh white amber antique this is another one of my favorites from the 10 new scents that are coming next month it's just this perfumey masculine body care like fragrance it's everything Next is Scary Good. I know you guys are like, why are you still going through, um, I'm thinking Christmas and Thanksgiving. Why are you still going through like Thanksgiving scents? I mean, we have multiple bars and shockingly, this one, it might have been in a whiff box because I swear I was like cleaned out from this one and then all of a sudden there was like one left and i was like where did this come from loved it just finished it up i swear this is the last one ah uh, clementine cupcake this is a bring back my bar i know some of you have said that you didn't think it was that strong i don't care to me it's just like perfect it's not like a powerhouse like cutie pie cupcake but it, to me, it's just enough where it's just really, really beautiful. And I cannot wait to try this mixed with Cutie Pie Cupcake just to see uh, what happens. I'm hoping Cutie Pie Cupcake will not totally overpower this, which I'm afraid it might. But who knows? I'm going to give it a go anyway. So I might do... Uh, like four i have the room i'm thinking of doing it in is the family room i have three warmers in there so i might try four cubes of this one and two of cutie cutie pie cupcake just to give this a fighting chance and see how it performs because i just think that combo is just going to be heavenly i know that was a lot to talk about that bar but that's how much i love it um next is simply rose this one is in my club like i've said it just smells like a beautiful bouquet of roses like you have stuck your face into a bouquet of roses that is exactly what it smells like next is spiced orange harvest this is a bring back my bar was this a strong one I'm not sure. There were two that smelt alike. I think this was the strong one. I don't know by the time I get to the other one. I'll just set that aside. Next is Pineapple Mango. This is one of the new 10 scents that debuts in February. This one for me was eh, you know. You guys know I'm not a fan of pineapple or mango, so yeah. Next is You're the One. This is one of the Valentine's Day scents. And this one was light. This one was very, very light. So, yeah. Um, next is Grape Granita. This one is a super powerful, strong one. I had this in my club for like half a second when it came out previously. It smells like a perfumey grape almost like a grape perfumey scent um uh, it's okay i'm not holding on to it this time next is daydream oasis it kind of gives you mineral oasis vibes if you remember that fragrance from the previous catalog very light but it's it's a nice it's a nice one next is blue raspberry ice this is a bring back my bar um uh, nice um uh, nice scent it almost gives you a blueberry vibe i know somebody had warmed i think it was lisa uh lisa roberry and i had saw on her instagram where she had warmed this one and i want to say it was blueberry rush together and she said it was like the bomb combo so by the time i saw that i was already out of this and i was like oh i should have tried that Next is Boho. Um, I had such high hopes for this one. For me, I mean, it's a nice scent, but it just, I don't know. I think I just had this on such a high pedestal because I've heard so, so, so many people just, you know, raving about this. And my expectations were so high. And, you, you know, how you have these 
preconceived notions of what you think the scent's going to smell like. And then when it doesn't smell like that, you're just kind of like, wonk, wonk. So that's me. Um, let me get to this non-wax item that's taking up the box because I keep looking at it and picking around it. So I finished up a um, laundry liquid in pink cotton. So love that. Super loud, um, nice fragrance. Love that a lot. Um, I did get a request to... Um, hate when that happens it's like you have the thought in your head and then it just slowly disappears it's like you see the words just like floating away from you in the air um i had a request for me to review uh, the two new laundry fragrances so i'm gonna pick that up when i um you know, I'm thinking of something else and talking to you at the same time. And I'm going to tell you what I was thinking of, but let me complete the sentence. I'm going to do that when I get my whiff box. I'll go ahead and order those. And that was what I was thinking was that I've already written something down. Consultants, do you guys do that? You know, when you know you're supposed to go in and buy something and then you make out your little list of things that you need to buy. And then you're sitting there with the list like, I know there's something else that needs to go on here. Because God forbid we do separate orders and have to pay separate shipping. Maybe it's just me, but I'm a cheapskate like that. I don't want to have to, you know, do two separate orders. So when I go in there to order my WIC box on the first day of the month, I'm trying to order everything that I got to order at the same time. And that laundry bundle was what I forgot so, I know that was a lot. Sorry. This isn't even an after work video. And I'm just like scatterbrained all over the place. I'm going to make a note of that as soon as this video is done. That I need to order those laundry whiffs. I'm trying to decide. As consultants, we have a bundle that we can buy. Where it is both fragrances we get the laundry liquids of both fragrances as well as the washer whiffs of both fragrances so i've been deciding whether i just want to get two little um washer whiffs of each one just separately just you know out of the catalog or if i just want to do the consultant bundle and um get both so still deciding Anyway, I know that was a lie. You all are like, can you move this thing along already? The thoughts of your favorite crazy Scentsy consultant. Anyway, next we have Apple Teeny Splash. This smells just like an apple martini. Um, it was nice. I enjoyed it. It was. It didn't blow my socks off, but I did enjoy it. So Apple Teeny Splash. Next is banana nut bread. You guys know this is not one of my favorites at all. This is like such a beloved bar and I almost feel bad saying that I don't like it. It just doesn't do anything for me and I should have tried to like mix this with something else like maybe well I was gonna say happy birthday but that would totally overpower this because happy birthday is one that'll like blow you out the house so I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's just not my cup of tea. Next is Cherry Limeade. This smells just like what it is. A Cherry Limeade from Sonic Restaurant. That's all I got to say about that. Um, Arctic Kiss is another one. This, I used to love this scent. Now, all of a sudden, I'm just like, uh, I don't know what it is. It's very loud and... It's a beautiful scent, but it to me, it tends to be a lot. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why I'm so scatterbrained today. I'm sorry, y'all. This is just turning into like a whole random video. And now I'm looking at something across the room and this green light is flashing. Let me show y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. My husband's watch was sitting across the room, and all of a sudden, this green light started flashing. So I'm like looking like, what in the is that? So 
yeah distractions sorry i was gonna turn the camera around and then it stopped so i have no idea what's going on today anyway sorry for the super scatterbrain video um next is banana berry i want to love this so so much oh my god it's such a nice scent but i'm just over it now because it does not um give me the throw that i need it's just not strong enough and i just can't but it's such a beautiful scent <coughs> next we have paradise petals this is one of the new bars and very pretty scent very kind of powdery floral scent i like this one a lot um wasn't the strongest out of the bunch. I mean, they all can't be powerhouse scents, but it is really, really pretty, though. Next, we have another Valentine's Day scent. This is Together Forever. And this one, this one was nice. It was okay. You know, it was okay. Um, Arctic Kiss? Didn't I just have art? Okay. I am going crazy i could have swore i had arctic kiss am i going crazy i could be um i could did we just talk about arctic kiss i'm like you know what okay i had put arctic kiss down because the light was distracting me and yeah okay as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by the green flashing light was, this one can be a bit much for me. I don't know why I used to love this scent. I don't know what happened, but it's, it's a pretty scent, but I don't know. All of a sudden it just got to be a bit much. So I guess my tastes have changed, but it is a really pretty bar. It's just, it became a lot. Next is Bora Bora Blossom. This is another one of the brand new scents that will debut next month. And it is a nice floral scent. I mean, if you want a, a nice floral, this is it. I have one non scentsy wax, and that is Beechwood Vetiver. It is by Destination Wax. Those are the notes on it. I do not even remember what this smelled like. It was just a little sample that I got. Oh, it's pretty. This one was Driftwood, Carnation, Night Blooming Jasmine, and a bit of seaweed and eucalyptus. So there's that. That's the only non-wax, non-scentsy wax that I have. <sighs> Shimmer. It's in the club. It's everything. It's just super girly and just mm, really, really pretty. Uh, we've had this in laundry for a hot minute. Um, let me give you the notes for Shimmer because I don't remember off the top of my head what the notes are. And I hate to just give you a vague description of, oh, it smells girly, you know. And you're like, the heck is that? So, Shimmer. Anytime you can't find something, just go to the Scentsy. Um, just go to the search bar, type it in, pops right up. So, we have Shimmer and all the things. Body care, laundry, fragrance mist. So, Shimmer. Oh! It's out of stock, y'all. That's how much everybody loves it. Shimmer is described as... It says this classic fragrance was voted back by Scentsy fans around the world during our most recent Bring Back My Bar event. Get your girly girl on. So even Scentsy is saying it smells girly. Um, it is sweet cherries, velvety apricots, and sensual white musk crowned with a tiara of shimmering spun sugar you can't get much more girly than that it is so so good just go ahead add it to your club thank me later that's the way to get it going around this whole out of stock thing you didn't hear that from me 
Uh, we have It's Love. This is the last of the Valentine's Day scents. I want to say this was the strongest. Yeah. Nice, pretty bar. Uh, let me check while I got the computer up just to see what's left of Valentine's Day. Ooh, since it's going to be right around the corner, you guys. Um, let's see. It looks like everything is still available, guys. So, everything is still there. We still have something coming. So, just wanted to point that out that everything is still available for your purchasing pleasure. And lastly, we have Shoreline Drive. And this is also a one of the 10 brand new bars coming February 1st. And just a really pretty, um, fresh scent. It's nice. I like it. So that is it. The box is empty. So let me know if you have gone through anything you've seen on this video. Let me know your thoughts. What are you purchasing out of the 10 new scents that are coming what are you getting um, next month? I have to make my list and figure out. There's probably going to be three that I'm going to pick pick up, especially um, Clementine Cupcake, because I really want to um, use that one with Cutie Pie Cupcake when I get my bring back my bar. And I also want to warm this with Happy Birthday. Like I said, don't know if it's going to be overpowered or not. And also, I put the, um, that birthday bar from the Moments Collection. The birthday, what is the name of it? I want to say birthday cake. I know it's not happy birthday. What is it? Birthday wishes. Good God. It's out of stock too, y'all. Look at that. So, um, I want to mix it with that one also. I think it might stand a better chance mixed with birthday wishes, but I'm going to try it with all of them because I want to see, you know, how this is going to work out. So, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling now. So, thank you so much for watching and our special guest thanks you as well. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.